Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk and share about my preparation for our baby that is coming very soon. What I did differently this time or what I'm planning on doing differently during postpartum this time, what I learned from my last experience. And so, yeah, let me just share it with you. Um, First off, uh, we are still middle, in the middle of the construction with our bathroom. We are slowly, slowly getting there, but there's still so much to do and we have less than two weeks till Christmas. Sometimes it feels like we will never get it done. And then we know that the next few days we have lots of help coming in and helping us with the tire work and all the like finishing touches that we need and painting and all that stuff. So. It will happen this week. Lots of stuff will happen this week. The bathtub will go in this week and stuff. So we will probably get it done in time, but especially towards the end of the pregnancy, you just stressed about all that anyway. So I'm just trying to stay calm. It will happen. It will be fine. <laughs> and just have faith, I guess. With that said, I already prepared lots of stuff with the baby. Um, I washed all the baby clothes. And put them in we have we got this new um, door cabinet because Luana's clothes are in her um, in her closet in her room uh, and it is pretty full so since the baby will be sleeping in our room for the first month anyways we thought okay we will just get this new cabinet thing that we wanted to get anyways and just store all the diapers in there and the baby clothes that we will need for the first few months and I washed all of them and I put them in there so they're ready to go. Um, I also just washed all the equipment that we have, the stroller, the car seat, the swings, the, um, swing, baby swing and stuff like that because there was dust like from the construction all over it and I was just like, okay, I'm taking everything off that I can, washing it now and I still have to put it back together, but it's washed and clean, so I feel much better about that. Yeah, something else I started preparing are those little postpartum pads. Some people call them pasticles. So I used them last time for postpartum, but I only made five. Like basically, I used one big leaf from my aloe plant and it, only five um, pads came out. And they were so nice. It felt so soothing and so cooling. And I was after they were all gone, I was just like, darn it, I wish I would have done more. And this time I was planning on getting way more. And I so I waited to have my plan get bigger and bigger. And I didn't touch it because I knew I wanted to use it for postpartum. So that's what I did. I cut lots of the leaves off. They're huge. This plant is a few years old. Like I think it's like six years old or something. So it's a really good big old plant. And I cut the leaves off and I tried to cut all the flesh out of the leaves and used all the jelly parts that I could get out of it. Last time I used a mixer, just a normal stand mixer. and. It was awful because in um, since the knives were in the bottom, I couldn't get everything out, so I wasted a bunch of it. So this time I said, okay, maybe I should just try to use my smoothie maker because then I can take the knife off and get everything out before I clean it. And it worked amazing. I am glad I did that this time. Um, I got everything out. I got so many pads this time. I'm so happy about that. I also ordered witch hazel um, last time I put it in there. I could not find an alcohol-free one online that would be able to send here to Germany. Um, so, but last time I only used a little bit and it did not burn. So even though I was, I teared pretty bad. So I, I'm not so worried about that this time. So I put some witch hazel in there as well and mix it up really good to have this jelly consistency. And then I basically just put them on every single pad. I used pretty thick ones for the beginning and then thinner ones for later on. 
and put them in the fridge. No, in the freezer, sorry, in the freezer. And so I put them in for a few hours and then put the next ones in um, so I could stack them so they don't use too much space. And these are all the ones that I got this time. I used a bunch of aloe um, leaves and I'm really happy that I got so many out of those. I think there's some people who even put more stuff on there like coconut oil and I don't know what, but I just found that this aloe and witch halo worked perfectly fine for me last time and I'm sure it will do its job this time again. Before I use it, I will take it out of the fridge, let it sit for like three to five minutes before I actually use them because you don't want to get freezer burns down there when you're healing. So just a quick tip. And after that, it's just so soothing and it's cooling and I, I just liked it so much last time. I'm excited that I got that done because it was always in the back of my mind. I was just like, I need to get it done, I need to get it done and I finally have. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So I am almost 35 weeks pregnant. We have about five more weeks to go, plus minus. We don't know. Last time I went overdue, so we will see what happens this time. We are really excited to meet this little baby and can't wait. I very soon do my eight month pregnancy update because I'm almost, I finished with my eighth month. Um, that will come out very soon as well. It's the home stretch, I guess, the final countdown. I'm really, really happy. I'm really excited. I prepared some boxes as well for postpartum and nursing. Um, so I have everything that I need to access in one box right next to my bed because I don't want to be running around looking for stuff and everything is in there. I did that last time and that worked perfectly great. Um, so that's a big tip that I have as well. And I only have to get a few more things to put in there that I will order today. Um, one of which are like, um, people told me to use mesh pans or like adult diapers last time. Awful. I will never do that again. I cannot recommend it because all of the plastic, um, the postpartum sweating, I was sweating so much in those pants and it was so uncomfortable. I don't even understand how babies are comfortable in plastic diapers. I don't, like, I hated it so much and I was just like, no, I'm never going to do that again. So this time I'm ordering those granny pants, cotton pants, like underwear, and then put those huge pads in there because I know that I will be sweating a lot again and that sounds much more comfortable than those plastic adult diapers. They were awful. Never doing that again. So yeah, I have to order those um, cotton granny pan pennies. So, and some other little things that I need postpartum. So, and then I'm ready to go. And this baby is allowed to come. And we were ready for Christmas and spending time with the family and stuff. So yes, and I've talked way too much already. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you still have a awesome Advent time, Christmas, pre-Christmas time with your family and friends. And I will see you guys very soon for my next pregnancy update. Bye guys.